Baltimore Ravens got a lot of great news today, and let's get straight into it. Mark Andrews, who has been MIA since practicing with the uh, the Commanders a couple weeks back, uh, he has been missing practice after practice after practice after practice. And John Harbaugh continued to be asked about him. He said, "Oh no, it's nothing serious. It ain't nothing too crazy. He's just dealing with some stuff." Uh, and he said that he is expected back on Wednesday. Well, today is Wednesday, and Mark Andrews returned. He returned to practice, so Mark Andrews is officially back. But he was officially listed on the injury report as limited with a quad injury. So uh, we'll see how he's listed on Thursday. Then, of course, the big day for injury reports is always Friday. That usually determines if a player is going to play or not. So we'll see how it goes. For me, if it's bothering Mark Andrews and he really can't move around like that, Okay, Isaiah Likely, Charlie uh, Collar, and then uh, Vocalek. That would be my opinion on what to do. And, of course, some bachelor record in there as well. But that's what I would do. I would not rush him. It's week one. It's a long season ahead. If he ain't ready by week one, let him do his thing. Let him chill on the sideline. But if he is ready, all right, Mark Andrews, let's go. Now, continuing, uh, Tyler Huntley, who had been on an injury report, had been dealing with a hamstring injury, he was not on the injury report. So that's great news, too, because that means Tyler Huntley – it's full go, 100%. He's back, like officially back, back now. So Ravens have their number two quarterback in more ways than one, get it, because he wears a number two and he's a second on the depth chart. But anyway, they got their number two quarterback back in the building. He's a full go, so that is great. Now, um, this was weird to say. Marlon Humphrey, of course, we know he's still dealing with his foot injury, but he was literally the only, like Ravens fans, it's kind of weird saying this, Marlon Humphrey was the only Ravens player not practicing on Wednesday. The only one. Only one. Ravens have a 53-man roster. They have 16 players on the practice squad. And Marlon Humphrey was the only person not practicing. When the last time we've been able to say something like that? Pretty much never. So that is a beautiful thing. Ravens are healthier than they've been in a long time. I know the season hasn't even started yet, but we love this. This is great going into week one. Now, Speaking of some not-so-great news, Ronnie Stanley, he was put on an injury report. He was limited with an ankle injury. Now, remember in joint practices, they said they were going to hold Ronnie Stanley out, which they did because they said they wanted to, to protect his ankle. Um, I mean, it worked because he had been practicing. Like, right after the commanders left, Ronnie Stanley, he came through again. But now he's limited with an ankle injury. So, again, the same thing with Mark Andrews. We'll just wait to see how he's listed on the injury report for the next two days. Now, with Texans... With the Texas injury report, uh, they will be officially without their starting right tackle, uh, Titus Howard, because they put him on injury reserve today. So he will miss at least the first four games, and the first game is the Baltimore Ravens, so they will not have their starting right tackle for that game. They're going to have George Fant instead at right tackle. Uh, so Texans, they, they hurting up front, and I believe they have another injury to another offensive lineman, but I got to double check on that. But he is officially out. Now, also... Some great news, some nice news from somebody who's not a Baltimore Raven anymore, but he used to be, and that is James Prochet. Because it's been quiet ever since James Prochet got cut from the Ravens a couple days ago. It's been quiet. We've been wondering, all right, are they going to sign him back to the practice squad? Is he just going to go somewhere else? Is somebody going to give him a workout, a visit, anything like that? Does he have anything lined up? And yes, because the New York Ravens, excuse me, excuse me, the Baltimore Jets, uh, no, excuse me, excuse me, the New York Jets, the New York Jets brought in James Prochet for a workout. They, they brought in Kenny Galladay, too, but James Prochet is the one that we want to focus on. So, hey, we'll see what happens. You never know. You never know. Hey, stay ready so you ain't got to get ready. Maybe, just maybe, he could join him in New York. Hey, I wouldn't be mad at it. So, hey, but with James Prochet, I just really hope he does land on his feet, get a new opportunity because, again, that's what he needs, a fresh start. Fresh start, clean slate with a new team. Now, um, there was a presser today that featured John Harbaugh, uh, Lamar Jackson, Odell Beckham Jr. Roquan Smith spoke to the media, but he did not speak on the presser. He spoke in the locker room, so that's why they didn't stream it. Uh, but John Harbaugh, he said that Mark Andrews looked good. He looked fine, and uh, there were no thoughts of a snap count for Odell Beckham Jr. He said they haven't even had that conversation. So Odell Beckham Jr. is a full go, but I think they'll still have him on. Not necessarily a snap count, but they ain't going to have him out there the whole game, in my opinion, I don't think. Um, he talked about how OBJ, uh, he's, he's a guy that's been around and knows what he's talking about as far as his, his comments on John Harbaugh running a world-class organization. You know John Harbaugh real happy about that one. He's like, yeah, yeah, all these players, they hate my conditioning test, and then they say this and all that about them. But anyway, he's running a world-class organization. Um, and somebody also asked, Did you, do you see Lamar Jackson passing more and maybe even setting a single season high in passes attempted? Uh, and he said everything just depends on game-to-game, series-to-series. 
Uh, he said he, he could envision the Ravens passing more, but everything is a, it's a case-by-case basis, and that's exactly how it should be. So hopefully the Ravens stick to that, make adjustments to that, uh, and don't go into every game like, all right, this is what we're going to do. If it works, great. If it doesn't work, well, we're still going to keep doing it. We're not going to make any uh, changes. They need to have adjustments ready, so that's going to be very important. Now, Lamar, he, asked, uh, he was asked what was he anticipating the most going into week one, going into the season. Uh, he said he's looking forward to actually going against another team. Uh, he was also asked uh, how comfortable he feels in this new offense, and he said just the explosiveness of it and getting the ball out of his hands faster, and that's so important because if you can get the ball out of Lamar Jackson's hands faster, that can slow down the defense. So if he is holding on to the ball for a while, waiting for somebody to come open, waiting for a play to develop down the field, he'll have even more time to do so because the defense may be used to him getting the ball out so fast that they may slow down a bit on rushing him. So that's a beautiful thing. Um, he was asked, if, is there a level of trust that you have in the coordinator and, and the trust that he has in you to where you may call some plays? And he said, yeah, for sure. Uh, and how pleased are you with everything, how everything came together as far as the contract, EDC getting new players, EDC keeping players. And he said his vision is just hoping to be playing in February. But he did say EDC did a good job of building on both offense and defense. He commended OBJ, said with Odell Beckham Jr., it's not just his speed that everybody's in awe of, but it's his route running as well uh, he was asked this question he I remember he was asked this question a couple years ago now he said Devin Duvernay but this year he was asked the question who's somebody under the radar who's primed to break out and he said that Lamar said he's going to try to keep that person who he's thinking of under the radar so you want to keep him right where they at uh, and then he was asked it's been a while since you've been on the field do you anticipate feeling any differently for this game or are you anxious at all and Lamar said he is a little bit anxious uh, but coach said not to peak too soon I'm just pumped I haven't played since like November December and that's a long time. I'm just ready to get back out on the field. Uh, and somebody asked him, like, they, they, they asked him, oh, do you ever watch the play where you got hurt? And he said, yeah, I saw it, but I don't want to watch it. You know what I'm saying? What kind of question is it? Anyway, uh, Odell Beckham Jr. also spoke to the media. Uh, he said that it's, it's been a long time, and he's just excited to get back on that football field again. Um, and somebody asked him what stands out about the team and how John Harbaugh runs things and what stands out to you. Uh, and he said it's just really the little things that they focus on. He's because he said they'll focus on something small in practice, but then it'll come up in the game, and then or well, it, it should come up in the game, and then they'll know exactly. All right, this is exactly what we should do in this situation. So just being prepared. Uh, he said that this this going into this game, it feels like it's his first game, because uh, he said it feels like it's just been a reset for him. It almost feels like his rookie year, because of course, remember he didn't play last year. The game that he loved, it was taken away from him with injury last year, the whole season last year. Not even a part of it, but the whole thing was taken away. So that's a big blow. So for him to be back, this is a huge step uh, moving forward for him. Uh, now, this question, he asked, uh, oh, he did talk about how we all follow eight. We all follow Lamar Jackson. We go as he goes. Um, he talked about the goal is to score points. And he said he doesn't put certain expectations out there. And Odell Beckham Jr. has been very consistent when people have asked him, expectation questions he has shut every single last one of them down said i don't put expectations out there so he continued that in this presser now this question have you ever played with a wide receiver group this good odell beckham jr said i don't want to look back and compare to other groups uh, and he, then he brought up all the first round picks and then he mentioned Duve and tylen wallace and he said they have a selfless demeanor in the wide receiver room and they're going to make plays so i appreciated that that he he wasn't like Raining on nobody parade on the teams that he's currently with or teams that he used to play with before. Uh, he showed respect to everybody. He didn't want to throw anybody under the bus. Um, he also was asked, how much is their motivation to be the same wide receiver that you used to be? That Odell Beckham of old that we know. And he said, that's just how I carry myself. Uh, he was also asked about his relationship with Rashad Bateman. Do you give him any words, wisdom, anything like that? And he said, yeah. He talks to him. He, he said he never likes to put anybody's business out there, but there have been conversations where they just talk about getting right, keeping their minds right and whatnot. And he said that there's going to be times where, yeah, Rashad Bateman will need him, but he's going to need Rashad Bateman as well. So they can lean on each other with that. So that's important. And, and, and when you hear Odell Beckham Jr. speak, especially now he's a seasoned veteran and been around, have all the experience in the world, uh, you can hear that leadership in his voice. You can see that leadership with the tone of his voice, his body language. You, you can just see it. Uh, he's much different than he used to be before. Not that he wasn't a leader before, but you see he's just a lot more mature, a lot more grown now. He's just looking at things, speaking differently, a lot more calm and whatnot. He's still going to have his fun now. Cause, cause wait, wait, wait till Sunday. He, he gonna see Odell doing his thing. But I, I just, I, I appreciate that he is a Baltimore 
Raven. Ravens could have went a lot of different ways at the wide receiver position this offseason, but they chose Odell Beckham Jr., and they stuck with him. They had been watching him for a long time, talking to him for a long time, and they followed through, and they closed the deal with Odell Beckham Jr. So uh, I, I'm just excited for the season. I hope it really, really works out. It should, as long as everybody stays healthy. That's the, the name of the game, as y'all already know. Um, but team, keep it clean. I appreciate y'all. I love y'all. Uh, we are all updated. We haven't heard about Ravens making any moves yet, but when they do, We'll, of course, let y'all know. I love you. Make sure you subscribe so you don't miss not one single update, so you don't miss any news that comes out with the Baltimore Ravens. We got some big channel updates very, very soon. Uh, probably over the next couple of days, we're going to drop those so y'all will know. We got a lot going on, good stuff, and one little bad thing. But I'll let y'all know about that over the next couple of days. Make sure you subscribe. Turn your notifications on so you don't not miss not one single video. Leave a like on the video, too. I appreciate your team. Keep it clean. We out.